some of the pieces in here are the, some of the nicest pieces I've seen in so long and obviously like I just look at clothes all day so <laughs> so get ready for a good one Welcome back to my channel. Welcome if you're new. Hello, hi, I'm Katie and welcome back if you're a channel subscriber. You are the best. If you are new here and you enjoyed today's video, I'd love it if you could consider hitting that subscribe button um, to join our Good Vibe Tribe. It basically means all the good vibes coming your way. Um, so I'm really excited to be sharing with you this autumn edit of H&M's sort of like new in, lots of neutrals, lots of mixy matchy bits. Um, and yeah, just like snugly knit ready for like the colder months. And I have never really been like a massive lover of like winter time. But actually, when I opened this bag earlier, I was literally like, okay, now autumn is my favorite season for fashion, hands down. Like there's no competition. Some of the pieces in here are the, some of the nicest pieces I've seen in so long and obviously like I just look at clothes all day so <laughs> so get ready for a good one now let's get into the autumn H&M haul which I'm so excited about okay so I'm gonna start off today's haul with this absolutely dreamy cozy knit um, and just for reference I'm a size UK 12 and I'm five foot nine as you guys always seem to want to know um, I got this in a large. The fit was actually really nice in this. Um, it's the softest, snuggliest thing I think I've worn this autumn. Um, and I just think it's going to be really nice to wear in the house. Um, or something like, you know, if you're just going to pop out to the shops. Just with an easy pair of jeans, maybe a pair of trainers, a little pair of boots, something like that. Really, really snuggly, but still really chic. Um, it's kind of like my favourite best of both worlds. Is to be like comfy and cosy, but also look super fashionable. Or like you haven't really tried too hard but you just look effortlessly chic. I think that square neckline really does that for this jumper. Um, and I just think the balloon sort of sleeves are really, really sweet as well. It's actually quite a heavy material and it's only 19.99. I think it's a really nice piece and a great one to start with. I actually paired this in the cutaway with a mint skirt and some trainers that I will talk to you about in a bit. Um, and also a little bag, which is actually from River Island, not from H&M, but I will leave that link down below for you guys as well. If you aren't following me over on Instagram, make sure you pop over there after this video and give me a little follow as I'm going to be doing a big giveaway for my 10,000 followers, which shouldn't be too far away. And also I share loads of fashion tips over there daily, lots of things as well about like positivity, um, self-love, body confidence, mental health, all these kind of like topics that I think are so important. So it's more of like a little lifestyle brand over there as well as it is here. So I hope you guys will come and follow me over there. I'll pop it on the screen. Uh, so this next dress, this is absolutely gorgeous. Now, I think this is a little bit more pricey because it is a wool cashmere blend. Um, so it has got that like slightly itchy feel to it. Like I'm so used to wearing like cheaper range clothes that I'm not used to wearing things like this. But I guess if you are, this is an absolute dream. It's just really like heavy, super snuggly. It's gonna look so gorgeous with like trainers, chunky boots anything like that. I actually have a pair of chunky boots I need to show you guys. Um, so yeah, I got this in again in the large. I think in the cutaway I popped a little belt on with it just a cinch in at the waist. It didn't really need that and I think for like a comfy slouchy outfit you definitely don't need the belt but I think it was a nice like option to add it in with a leather jacket and then maybe some trainers or something just makes it really really casual but again I think we could just dress this up. I think it's a really gorgeous colour like you probably won't see me in grey very often but I think this is like quite a neutrally grey colour and I just think it's an absolute dream. This is $79.99 so like I said it's a little bit more pricey but because it's classic it's never going to go out of style ever. Like this you can have this for the next five to ten years and if you think about like price per wear I actually think that's a bit of a bargain. So I think it's gorgeous, it's a lovely wool blend and it's just a nice heavy long length dress. Super snuggly for this time of year. Okay, so if you are on Instagram, you probably may have seen someone wearing this on there because I feel like I've seen it everywhere. I love this though. I just saw it and I was like, it's so me. I love frills. I love being snuggly. So this is literally like me in a dress. I absolutely love it. I got it in a medium. The fit again was quite, it was a little bit snug, but like not too snug, but it really mattered. I think it looked really nice paired with the jeans, but just a pre-warning for those jeans. Oh my God, they were tight. 
Um, I got, I always go up a size in mom jeans, so I went to a size 14, but they were still tight. Like, I could not breathe in them, I could not sit down in them, so excuse me if I'm walking funny in them, but yeah, this, this is just an absolute dream. I this is only $24.99, which I think is an absolute bargain. I just love the detail on it, and I just think it's one of those, again, really effortlessly classy, chic tops. You could also wear this with like a, a, a nice floaty skirt, um, midi or maxi would look really great with. Um, but again, I think jeans is probably going to be the easiest way to style this with a pair of trainers or boots. So next I have this skirt, which is something that's so different. I've never seen the material like this on a skirt like this, which is, makes it really heavy. Now I've been wanting some brown pieces to add to my wardrobe for a little while now, and I like that it's got blacking because it means you can just tie the brown and the black together. I'm just going to show you a nice little close-up of the print. I think it's like a crocodile print. Um, I really love this. Like, I'm not huge into animal print, and I know it's really big right now, but I'm not really someone who follows trends. I just like what I like and and yeah I just think this is absolutely gorgeous I think it's really classy and because of the heaviness of the skirt it flows so lovely when you walk in it and um, this is $34.99 and I got this in a size medium uh, the medium fit was really nice it was a little bit snug but I think it's just the nature of the material on the booty which is absolutely fine by me you know we work hard for these bodies look after them and show them off um, so yeah, I absolutely love this and I just think this is going to be so easy to style. I think you could easily pop it on with like just a little cardio like I've got on now, a little pair of boots, black ones, lovely. Chunky boots if that's your thing, if not, just some like little heeled black boots, very, very chic. Um, or you could easily, yeah, it's just going to be so weird styled. You can literally wear this so many different ways. You can wear a nice chunky jumper over it. You can wear a body and then some heels and wear it for a night out. I think it's going to be really versatile and probably one of my favourite pieces. It just looks so understated, like you wouldn't have probably noticed it if you went into store, but I just think this is gonna be a bit of a winner for the autumn colors. Okay, so apart from my green skirt that I'm yet to show you, I think this is the only other bit of like actual color in the haul. So this is like a chiffon -y dress, and I had one similar in the summer, um, but obviously just with some brighter colors. I think these colors are really nice, bring in some like pinky tones, into your wardrobe but also then they've got the darker tones making it a bit more autumn winter um, and again going to be dressed really nice with some like chunky boots or some heeled boots whatever is your style i'm still undecided whether i'm someone who can pull off like the chunky dr martin style boots i really like them as a look but i have always been that more slightly i guess a little heeled kind of like a kitten heel pointy toe boot kind of girl so it's going to be a big transition and I've got a pair here and I'm just like really iffy about it so let me know down below if you like these chunky style boots like the Dr. Martin style ones um yeah so I think this is really really nice and again I think you just pop a leather jacket on over it and it'd be really cozy equally you could dress it up quite classy and put like a long line jacket over it Maybe like even a, a nice neutral trench coat. Chiffon dress is $34.99. So I think it's kind of like reasonable for H&M average price. Um, it's nice and long and it's just got a nice long tier. I would say it didn't give much shape. So you could definitely add a belt into it to give it a little bit more shape if you want to add that shape. Um, and it's got little buttons on the sleeves. I love the chiffon sleeve detail. They're really, really pretty. And yeah, I do actually really like it. Okay, now let's talk about my favorite item in the whole haul. These crocodile boots. The heel height for me is perfect, like no higher. Absolute dream. The color of them is classy. It's the most autumnal color I've ever seen. You can also get them in black. So if you're just like a more of a black kind of gal. But also I think they're gonna be so versatile. You can wear them with so many outfits. They looked great with so many things. I had to try and mix up the other shoes to add them in, but otherwise I probably would have worn this for so much. The only thing I didn't style them with was like a pair of jeans, and I think they would look great with a pair of jeans as well as all the things I did style them with. My favorite kind of way to wear these kind of boots would be to be with like a nice chunky knitted dress, little split down the side, um, kind of loose, not too fitted. I think if it's too fitted, it can look a little bit too sexy, but if that's your look, that's cool. But I'm trying to go for like that more um, casual, pretty, but not, yeah, a little bit sexy, but not, not overly sexy look. And I think with the fitted dress, which you may see in the cutaway, um, it was taking it to a little bit more sexy. So yeah, for me personally, I love them. They're $39.99, which I think is a, such a bargain. Like obviously they're not leather, which is kind of good for the people who are 
um, like me, not wanting to harm animals. So yeah, I really like them and I just think, <laughs> Like, they're such a steal, honestly. Are they not the best boots you've ever seen? If you are loving these boots, hit that thumbs up right now. Okay, next I have this little, um, like, knitted skirt to share with you. I love the idea of this skirt. I think it's really lovely. This one wasn't the most flattering, but I'm not sure if that was the size. It's a medium, and it's from the Conscious Collection, which means it's been made from some recycled materials, which obviously is fantastic. Um, and I do not try and promote fast fashion here on my channel. I just want to share with you guys things that are really going to enhance your wardrobe and you can have for a really long time. So pieces that are classic that aren't going to go out of style, which is my complete style. It, like literally just love plain simple things you can just pair together and keep for years. I've never ever been one for buying into fast fashion if I'm honest. Um, so this is only 19.99, so it's absolutely just a great price. It's got a little slit at the back. Um, so something like this would look nice with like maybe more of an ankle boot or or you could wear this with the trainer um, but I really like this and I think it's going to look really nice again something like I'm wearing now and a little boot would be quite nice or um, something a bit like chunky and then tucked in yeah really really versatile you could even wear like a, literally a white t-shirt and some white trainers and that would look really cute and chic too maybe pop a little blazer on Really lovely outfit, just so easy, and hopefully you've got sort of like a white t-shirt and, and trainers at your home already. Um, if not, I have a little pair of trainers for you. So trainers have been something that I've really got into this year. So I think before this year, I never really styled trainers with dresses or skirts. I always thought the trainers were like more of a wear to wear with the jeans when you just pop into the shop kind of thing. Um, but this year, I've really seen like the fashion side of trainers, and I think these are a really lovely pair. So the plainer they are, I honestly think the more versatile they are and they will go with a lot, but I also love it if you're going to get white ones to get a little bit of black on because it means you can tie them in with all black outfits and it looks really chic. Um, also means you can tie them in with a lot more things because of that black, honestly, otherwise it can be like a little bit too stark white um, contrasting from other outfits. So yeah, these are really, really cute. Um, I have to be honest, I'm not over the moon about these like bits of the back, but that's just my personal taste. Um, I can see what, they kind of go over like the, the Givenchy look on the back. I'm not really into my Givenchy, so don't really know. Um, and they're an absolute bargain at 19.99, so you really can't go wrong. I have a few really nice pairs. I've got a pair that I shared in my latest River Island um, Autumn Pieces haul, which I will leave linked down below for you guys. Um, which I absolutely loved as well. I love them a little bit more than this because I, like I said, I don't really love that back bit, but if that's your thing, that's great. The other ones have got a little bit of gold on, which is much more my thing. Um, and yeah, I got a lovely pair with some pink on at the back from Quiz and um, some with gold on from New Look. So they will all be on my channel somewhere. So if you all come over to my Instagram, I'll see most things over there as well. Um, but yeah, these are really cute, but I will be keeping them because like I mentioned, I do have a few pairs already and the back isn't quite for me, but that's my that thing. Okay, so I'm torn between this jumper and the frill jumper being my favorite because I think this is something that you will just never get rid of. This is one of those jumpers that you'll be like, I can't remember where I bought it from. I've just had it for years and everyone compliments you on it. This is just the knit jumper of dreams. It's so cozy. I got it in a size medium. Again, it's from the Conscious Collection, which is great. Um, and it's just got really nice, like sort of back wingy, extra detail around the arms, chunky sleeves, and they come in at the end, just like a little cute, like your nan knitted it, but even better. And this is only 1999. I honestly, H&M have really upped their game this year. I mentioned that in my um, summer haul, I think, or my spring haul. I was so shocked, like I never used to shop in H&M very often, but this year I honestly feel like they've just been upping, upping, upping their game and they're becoming one of my favourite places to shop. That, Zara um, and a few little boutiques are honestly are just so amazing. River Island has had some great pieces this year as well and also Quiz Clothing have really upped their game as well and their sizing is just absolutely perfect. So I have a lot of those kind of hauls as well. I'll leave them to linked, linked down below for you in case you wanna watch them after. But yeah, I just love this and again, I think it's gonna look great. Again, with like a nice midi skirt, either tucked in or a maxi skirt or just like a nice cozy pair of like jeans, your favorite jeans, whatever ones, or 
Additionally, some nice white jeans. I always think white goes really lovely with this color. Okay, so another lovely knitted dress. Now, I think this one, again, is gorgeous. It's got that little split up the side, like I mentioned earlier, so it would look great with like those kind of a longer length boots, and black, all that color would look great with it as well. It's $29.99, I got it in a size medium. Um, I like the way the sleeves are just cuffed gently, and it is basically just what you see. It's a little bit oversized, like it's a little bit, like so it's not very fitted, which is great if you're just feeling like you wanna be comfy and cozy for the day. This is gonna be the kind of thing you just wanna chuck on and just be chilled and cozy, but still, again, you look quite chic in. Uh, this isn't like ever gonna go out of style. Again, the colors are nice because it's like almost gray, but almost neutrally, and it's got some white fleck in there as well. So it's got, just got like a few different colors, which means you can mix and match it with quite a lot in your wardrobe, and probably make quite a few different looks out of it, which I think is really nice. Uh, yes, yeah, so I really like that one, but I do think it was a little bit wide. Um, so maybe if you want it to be a little bit more fitted, go down a size on that one. So let's talk about this skirt. This is a size medium, but the waistband is a little bit strange on this one. I'm just not really sure about the waistband, which I think let it down a bit, because it just was like, can I, you can see like how I'm holding it, sort of like going like that. Um, but the color of the skirt is an absolute dream. The medium was a little bit big, actually, if anything. Um, the color, look at this, look at this color though. Look at that colour! Oh, it's so pretty. Um, I feel like it's very like Elsa from Frozen colour. Um, like a really gentle, soft, mint, green, blue, icy, sort of like in between the two. Um, I love it. I thought it was absolutely gorgeous. I really like the way as well. I, I like the way I styled it, but obviously I like the way I styled it. Um, with the trainers and the knitted top and then a green bag. So again, that green bag is from my River Island haul. So if you haven't seen that yet, um, it's last week's Sunday night haul, so I'll leave it linked down below for you guys, but it's such a dream bag. It looks so expensive, and it's like 80 pound, I think. So yeah, I think it was really nice to bring like two of the very different end of the spectrum colors together. Um, yeah, so let me know if you like that outfit. Um, something a little bit different and just I think nice to try sometimes it's like to wear something a little bit different that you wouldn't normally wear I think um with fashion you just sort of have to try things a bit out of your comfort zone sometimes because that's how you find your new style or that's how you find new things that you like and that's how you sort of like get your style because I think it took me years to be honest to find my actual style and still now it's still like adapting and changing but there's still pieces like I still love all the old pieces I never look at anything and think oh my god why did I buy that um, but yeah, there's just things I'm adding, like I said for earlier about the chunky boots, like I'm still considering it, but I'm just not sure yet if it's really me. I think what it is for the chunky boots, because I've got big feet, I just think like I don't want them to look any bigger, I want to look a bit ladylike, not like a, like an army girl with big feet. That's probably what it is. So this is a lovely little black knitted sort of kazi. Got really cute pearl details, and if you didn't know, I love pearls. Um, and this is going to be one of the things in my giveaway over on my Instagram page. So when I reach 10k, so definitely not this one, obviously, and a new one. Um, so definitely come and follow me over there for some daily fashion tips. I'm just basically to keep a bit of an update on my life because I do do vlogs over here as well. I do one weekly vlog, but. I do a lot more regularly on my stories over there and on my feed, so yeah, I'd love it if you could come over there and just be part of our Good Vibe Tribe over there as well as subscribing here. If you're still watching to this point of the video, make sure you've put that, hit that big fat red button, because if you haven't, why not? So yeah, definitely make sure you are joining the Good Vibe Tribe. Um, Okay, so this is called a waffle knit cardigan and it's only $14.99. I think this is gonna be great again for like one of those pieces you could just chuck on effortlessly chic. So easy. Jeans, skirts, anything it's gonna go with. Really, really nice. I love it. It's a dream. And the fit actually was quite snug, but I liked it because I think everything else had been quite chunky and knit and oversized. So it was actually nice to have it quite fitted. Um, and I paired it with the brown skirt and I actually really liked it. So yeah. Let me get know what you guys think about that one. While we're talking about some pearls, I shall show you this little number. I love a blazer and I've really sort of like discovered my love for them again this year. Um, I've had some really, really nice ones sent to me and yeah, I just, I'm in love. This again is from the Conscious Collection um, and it's got 
pearl buttons to do it up. I think the colour of this is gorgeous. It's a really neutral, sort of like sand colour. I really like this. The fit on it was really nice as well. It's sort of like, the pearls take it from like smart to casual as well, I think. Like so, I think in the cutaway I wore it with um, the mom jeans and some really gorgeous boots that I'm yet to share with you. And I think that was a lovely like day to night outfit. Like you definitely go shopping in that outfit. But then also if you went out for like an evening date night, you could wear like a really sexy little body under it. And that would be a great outfit for a date night in the evening. So gonna be versatile, which is always something I look for in my pieces. Um, and yeah, I love that. Um, and again, like a really reasonable price. It's only $34.99, which I think is a really good price for a blazer. They're an expensive piece normally, um, and they're normally something you sort of invest a little bit more in, but $34.99, I mean, that's pretty much the price of a Domino's, is it not? <laughs> which is gone in like 10 minutes in this house. So another bargain piece, which again is just super classic, super awesome winter essential, a nice high neck knitted dress. Um, it's really soft, really gorgeous, it's $24.99, it's a gorgeous like deep black colour and it's got those splits again like I mentioned which look really great with those boots, I've gone really white, why is that? Um, which are going to look really great with those boots or even with a black version, again you could wear this with like trainers, just chuck a leather jacket on, so easy to style, so cute and comfy and cosy and literally going to have loads of different outfits out of it which I think like I always say is my favourite thing. Um, you could just, yeah, literally the lists are endless for this little black number and, mm, and it's just so snuggly and black is just so classic isn't it so I feel like it's just going to be great for those days when you're like I don't know what to put on, it's cold outside but I want to look chic. Roll necks, I feel like, always look chic. If you can do like a nice low bun, do a nice low bun. If not, a little top knot, always looks great. High bun, top knot's men, isn't it? High bun for the gals. But yeah, I love it, I absolutely love it, and I think it's a bit of a steal. Are these not the ankle boots of dreams? I've never seen such an ankle boot that I love this much. I love, look at the heels. They remind me of a Zara. They're very Zara, maybe a bit mango. I love them. I think the style of these and the colour, the shade, is so nice. They're a little bit of like a pointy slash square toe, which is nice. Nice for a change. I really like them. I'm just, I'm just in love. They're like the neutral pair of shoes of dreams. Like, can you just see my, how excited I am about them? Also, the heel height is really nice. I don't like too high a heel, like that tall boot was probably the highest I would ever go. Um, and these are just a really, really nice, oh, I just love these. I paired them in the cutaway with a few different things, I think. Um, that look really nice with the brown skirt. They also look really nice with the jeans. But again, I think they're gonna be really easy to wear. They're $34.99, again, really reasonable price. Like these in Zara will probably be like 60 or 70 pound. So I just think, yeah, I'm living the dream with these. Okay, so this is the dress that I said is a little bit sexy, but only paired with those boots. Like it's not sexy just looking at it, it's just a knitted dress. But it is a fitted knitted dress, so it is, you know, nice. Those days where you feel like you want to like make a bit more effort, you want to feel a bit sexy, you want to feel a bit nice. This is a medium, the fit was nice, the fit was really nice. Um, it's got splits up both sides, which I think is great again for adding like an ankle boot or a long boot. Or just again, if you didn't want it to be too sexy, just wear it really casual, a nice like chunky, maybe um, what they called like a teddy bear jacket, something like that. I've got a really lovely one actually from New Look that would look great over this, it's like a creamy colour. And then some trainers, super casual, and you've got like a sexy dress, the look is ca looks casual. It's not that sexy, I don't know why I keep calling it sexy, but you know what I mean. And this is only $24.99, which I think is a really good price. It's kind of like a thin material, but um, I don't think it shows too many lumps and bumps. Let me know what you guys think about this. Um, I really like it, and yeah, I found this is going to be a really like quite a neutral haul. It wasn't ever really intended to be, but I'm just loving all these colours. I think they're really great for this time of year, especially if you don't want to go straight into black. Um, I love black as a colour. It's quite classic, but I just always think so many people like hide behind the colour of black. 
Um, so definitely try adding some colours like this into your wardrobe. I'm more of like a neutrally toned kind of girl than like the greys, but I am trying more with greys and things like that. So a little grey, I'm going to share with you this little grey knit. So it's very similar to the first one I shared with you. The style of it is exactly the same. It's just a little different of a material. Still really soft, but not quite as snuggly as the first one. Um, I think this is a really nice colour. It's size medium, and again, it's from the Conscious Collection. Um, I like the sleeves on this, as I mentioned earlier, and I do think this is just like a really easy, casual day piece that you could easily take into like a girl's, you know, evening or something like that, just because of that square neckline, it makes it really chic, really effortless, and really classy, and again, I think it's the same as the one earlier, which is 19 .99. Next piece is um, just like a classic, chunky polo neck jumper roll neck jumper again from the conscious collection and um, obviously i'm picking a lot from there or they're definitely up in their game on the conscious collection I'm not sure which um it's 24.99 this one is very large as you can see i got a medium in this as well so this is obviously oversized and um, really great tucked into like some skirts but also it's going to look really nice with some mom jeans and some boots um or just some like skinny jeans and boots or trainers very versatile and just like a really classic piece i actually have a jumper like this um i think it's from like asda or somewhere like that but i live in it because it's so snuggly it's just comfy it's oversized i feel like it's just giving me a hug when i wear it and that's like my kind of thing but again like i said earlier i just think a roll neck is like kind of effortlessly chic you kind of like don't really have to do much and it just looks effortlessly good so yeah maybe size down in that one if you don't want it as big as it is because there's quite a lot of material have these ankle length mom jeans so i actually really like the length on these and i like the way they just cut off really bluntly at the bottom i think they're a really nice style i'm not over the moon about this like line business from the back they're really nice they do make my bum look good but they are a little bit snug i couldn't sit down in them i couldn't have bent over in them honestly they were tiny um i they even look tiny to look at they're a size 14, like they're just not a size 14. This is, remember like back in the day, H&M used to be really small. You had to like go up one or two sizes, which is why I basically stopped shopping there because their sizing just confused me so much. I feel like maybe these are like still from back in the day because they're tiny and there's no way that I'm a size 16. Like genuinely, I'm quite a small 12. So what is going on there? I don't even know. Um, so yeah, definitely like consider sizing up two sizes or if you can afford, buy a few sizes and then send back what doesn't fit. H&M also do Klarna, which is amazing, um, which I didn't realise until this order, um, which means you can buy it now, pay later, which means you can buy it stuff, try it on, if it doesn't fit, you can send it back and you haven't actually, it hasn't actually taken any money from you. Um, obviously you just pay for what you keep. It's perfect, like it's so handy. Um, especially when things come in like such a weird size like this so yeah I really like these classic pair of mom jeans is obviously like an awesome winter summer every time of year essential looks great with everything like what doesn't look good in the mom jean I don't even know oh also over on my Instagram I actually did an IGTV with four other UK bloggers and we all styled mom jeans our own way so I'd love it if you could come over there um, and give that a little watch um, and like I said earlier give it a little follow and um, pop me a message as well because I love chatting to you guys over there and then lastly I have another skirt for you so this is like a ribbed skirt I'm not really a fan of this one if I'm honest probably my least favorite thing in the haul uh, but that's not to say it's not for everyone it's just personally I didn't like I just find ribbed, I think it looks a little bit cheap. On some people it looks great, but on me I feel like it looks a little bit cheap. Very easy to wear, very easy colour. Again, something nice and easy, a nice white one of these. So that would look really cute. Black one obviously looks really cute. Trainers, boots, very easy, very versatile. It's got little splits at the side, and I think it was an absolute bag as well. That was only 12 99 so that was cheap. But I just want to share with you one more thing before I let you. Um, which is this hat which you guys will have seen a lot in this video and I've been looking for stuff to pair it with and I feel like it just went with so much from this haul that is from River Island as well so I won't leave it linked down below but it is underneath my River Island haul so you will have to go over there and watch that for that one I've also shared a few bags within the haul which are from an Instagram company um, that I've sent them to me which is really kind of them I didn't have to post anything about them but I really love them and they are some dupes of some expensive designer handbags so if you're someone like me 
who doesn't necessarily want to spend a few thousand pounds on a handbag, then they're a great alternative and I will leave them linked down below, her Instagram linked down below as well. She's a really gorgeous gal and honestly, like, you'll be in good hands with her, so yeah so thank you so much for watching today's haul i really hope that you guys enjoyed let me know down below if you had a favorite piece um, and if there's any way you want to see me do any more hauls of next week we actually have a misguided haul and i haven't shopped a misguided for ages now like maybe even a year um but i just saw some really nice bits on um ellie darby i'm not sure if anyone watches her youtube channel um and i got totally inspired went on the website and i was like bag 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 and before i knew it I had like 500 pound in my basket so yeah hopefully you guys will stay around for that one make sure you're subscribed not to miss out it'll be next sunday um, and then the Sunday after that, we're doing quite a fun video. So Reese, who's my partner, if you're not new, if you're new here, um, he's going to be doing my ASOS order the week after that. So that'll be an interesting one. Um, I'm also thinking of doing some maybe like different style videos. Like um, I was thinking of doing one um, which is like trying on trends that I hate. I saw Freddie, my love, do that, and I thought it was quite funny. Um, just to be interesting to see how things are on, and maybe if it'll change my mind about things. Um, so yeah, any ideas of videos that you guys really want to see, please let me know down below. As always, I'm open to ideas. And if someone mentioned last week they wanted a, it's like spelled N-A-K-D haul, um, which is somewhere I've actually been looking at ordering from. So that is definitely the pipeline. Um, and yeah, just let me know. As always, let's have a chat. So thanks for being here. If you enjoyed today's video, give it a thumbs up. Hit that subscribe for all those good vibes. Join our good vibe tribe. Make sure you're following me over on Instagram. I have also got TikTok, but it's not really, I'm not really sure why I'm going with that. So, you know, if you're on there, come and find me. If you're not, that's cool because sometimes I'm not even on there. Okay. <laughs> so thank you for watching. Hope you guys have the best morning, afternoon, or evening whenever you watch this. And I'll hopefully see you in the next video. You guys are the best. Bye.